This is how we hack a website with Prototype Pollution. But first, what is Prototype Pollution? Let's start with a real world example. Let's assume we have a car. This car has to be based on a blueprint. In JavaScript, this is a prototype object. The blueprint, or the prototype in this case, defines certain properties that the car should have or functionality that the car must have. So every car that we create now will inherit the properties of this blueprint. So all in all, this is a great feature, but let's assume all of our cars are protected by the application, but not the prototype objects or the blueprint. So this is now the time where prototype pollution could come into place. If the application now allows us to manipulate the prototype object, we can now influence every other object that is created with this prototype or this blueprint. For example, our cars. Now we can add a function to the car, which is not intended. For example, opening the car door whenever I want. When you want to apply the same principles to a website, we basically overwrite or add our own function that runs our own JavaScript on the server and basically gives us whatever we want. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see a more detailed version of product pollution, comment down below. We'll see each other in the next video. Bye.